Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel and welcome to a new video and welcome to a new cruise news for today, the 9th of February 2022. Yes, I've got the right month in this video. Now I have two pieces of news for you, uh, kind of short and sweet, maybe it won't go too long this video. As usual, you know, I like to stretch it out as much as I can, um, but let's see how it goes. Now, the first one is about Cunard, or Cunard. Uh, they've announced the name of their upcoming ship. It's going to be called the Queen Anne. Now, if you're maybe a Cunard fan, uh, this is going to be their 249th ship when it enters service. Now, they don't currently have 249 ships in service. They currently have three ships. Uh, the cruise line itself has been going for 182 years. So they have a lot of history, a lot of heritage, and they've announced the name of their upcoming ship now. Maiden Voyages go on sale in May this year, and the uh, ship's inaugural sailings are going to be in early 2024. So it's still a little bit of time away. But uh, maybe you should have a look at some of the voyages that the uh, Cunard ships are going to do. The Queen Anne uh, should be a big deal. Now, when it actually comes out, it'll be the first time the cruise lines had four ships in service since back in uh, 1999. They've currently got three ships, and this will be the fourth. Basically, they've uh, introduced new ships. They've retired ships over the years. So this will be their fourth uh, ship going into service in the present time. So yeah, that's Cunard news. Now the second news is kind of something that's kind of very, very um, uh, in the moment, let's say. Uh, Norwegian Cruise Line has announced that starting uh, from March the 1st onwards, that any of its US-based ships, you won't have to wear a mask on the ship. So basically they're uh, uh, not requiring you to wear a mask. Now, this is where it gets a little bit sort of drawn out a little bit here uh, for sailings after March the 1st. This is for US based sailings only. Uh, any of the ships that are uh, in Europe, uh, they're abiding by whatever the local mandates are, which are pretty much uh, required for wearing a mask. So, yeah, so if you're in the US and you are waiting for some of the cruise lines to ease some of the rules and restrictions, uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines just announced this literally in the last sort of 24, 36 hours or so. Uh, essentially, all crew on board are uh, vaccinated and it's required that all guests five years of age or older have to be vaccinated also. So basically, for them knowing that everybody is vaccinated on board, it's allowing them to ease the restrictions of uh, wearing uh, masks. Or dropping their mask mandate. Now, they are still recommending that you wear them, uh, particularly indoors or outdoors where you can't socially distance, uh, and then not required when you're eating, drinking, or in your cabin. So they are sort of recommending you still wear them, but it's not a requirement of taking your cruise uh, for US-based ships. So that's kind of good news if that's something that you're following right now and you're waiting for these uh, sort of mandates to slowly ease. Um, as we know, a lot of the cruise lines do have mask mandates in place. Uh, Royal Caribbean, uh, Carnival, uh, to name just two different cruise lines. So yeah, I hope you uh, like this sort of nice quick news uh, bulletin. Um, if you haven't watched I Like Cruise Ships before, uh, there's a lot of videos in the playlists. You might want to check out some of the how to get to the beach videos. They're kind of interesting for the Caribbean. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you did like this, give it a thumbs up. If you aren't a subscriber, think about subscribing. Hit the no notification bell for new videos. And we'll see you in another video. Bye, everybody. Bye.